guys are doing, it's their job. So, first up, uh, Cajun Franks from Seapod. Cajun, you have five minutes. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. So, there's uh, something that uh, we found called the internet, and uh, it's enabled us to do something with uh, anything that you can play. And we're a company that's focused on playable search. So let me get this still out of the way. So what this means for uh, the world is that in terms of search, it's likely that you're going to find things in the future that are going to have to be played to determine their relevancy. In terms of content, you're talking about multimedia slideshows, you're talking about slideshows of any kind, flash objects, you're talking about music, video, anything that you can play so that you can determine whether or not the search result is relevant. So for Seekbot, if you take a look at our front page here, you probably already saw what I was going to query for, but uh, this is it, right here. This is access to just one of the verticals Seekbot as a company is working on. I'll give you just a tad bit of history on the company. We started in July 2005, and we started uh, by using technology and algorithms from Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory that enable us to connect objects with one another and uh, determine based on the context that surrounds these objects whether or not uh, they're related and in what context and how powerful and so forth the relationships are. So we decided to create a targeted crawling system and focus on music first. Music we know is a great platform. It's similar to what Apple's done with uh, music. Used it as a platform, pipeline, products and services. Search is also a great platform. So we want to combine the two as a first vertical to find out what you can do with playable search. So if you take a look at this query, this is Radiohead. Actually, no, let me go back to the front page here. Usually we talk about what's going on right here first. It, this text says, here's music the pod crawler just found. Now, the crawling system that we use is targeted. Uh, target, it's focused on the deepest parts of the web, meaning the crawler can execute queries against other engines or other uh, walled gardens and determine the content and whether or not it should be uh, uh, index within the Seekpod search engine. So let me just reload this page and we're running on a slightly slow network. Some of you heard we're strictly EVDO based right now. So let's see what happens. Oh, I heard we just lost connectivity. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to connect with my EVDO card. So just give me a second here. So for Seekpod, the technology essentially uh, was initially used to match genes with genes, and genes with diseases, genes with uh, therapeutics and drugs. Then we decided to target publicly traded companies. We determined which companies were related to another publicly traded companies or a company. We realized we could do this with music too. So here, this action right here, that's what our crawlers are finding at the moment. And what that means is when people put music on the net, here we go, we'll show you just what we found. When we first start, uh, decided to uh, go in the route of music here, we, we were sitting here watching this pod crawler thing like we were TV. You know, we were recognizing bands that were popping up here and going, hey, I'm going to click on that and play it. Well, that's what you can do. But we won't do that now in the uh, interest of time. We'll just uh, query for Radiohead, which happens to be a pretty uh, relevant band here at the moment. Lots of news surrounds Radiohead. So here we have 988 results for Radiohead. This means that uh, our index has gone out and crawled about 988 tracks. So what that means is, in addition to that, is some of these tracks are related to uh, music that you won't find anywhere else. You can't find it in catalog, you can't find it in iTunes. It's just internet inventory. And we know the internet has uh, mixes, mashups of all kinds. I'll give you an example here. Uh, let's see, I wish you were here. This is an example of a track that you can't find anywhere else. But before we get to that, let me show you what's happening here. As you roll your mouse over these uh, search results, you're able to see you have an options button, you're able to see you have a green arrow there. And when you click on that green arrow, immediately, and if you are running on a nice fast network, you're going to be able to hear Music. It's really that simple. So for Seekpod, we decided to make it as easy as possible for people to engage with playable search results. 
So another thing that we've decided to do was enable the process of discovery. And what this means for all of search is that you know sometimes you don't want things that are based on or results that are based on link analysis or keyword approaches. You might want results that uh, might be very related to your query, but maybe not directly to, to to enable the process of discovery. So let's determine what this is about here. This is actually a popular space. It's, uh, discovery is really another name for recommendation in our context. So what happens with discovery results and with a uh, fast connection, you see you have uh, music that's, that's related to radio. Then I'll just pause that there. You can add this to a playlist. You can begin to... Uh, that's fine. What's that? So, oh, do I have one minute left? That's, that's five. Oh, I see. Okay. So that's five minutes. Let me just show you the embed function right here. You can embed it right there. And lastly, let me just uh, show you pretty much the inner workings of CPI. I want to just give you an inside glimpse of uh, what the company is working on here inside uh, the algorithm and the technology, if we can uh, get this thing to load. So, these are the objects that we find around the net. We cluster them, we categorize them to provide you with the best search experience possible. As you can see, we have many crawlers and robots that are you know, working around the clock just to service you. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, thanks a lot, Marks, and now get on to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. but how is this legal and are there any payments made to any corporations that pay artists for their music? So I knew that was going to be the first question. I think that right now we, you know, we live in a world of uh, search results and for us we also live in a, a world of uh, vicious corporate enterprise that you know, is determining how to take a maximum amount of cash from the artist. We also understand another thing that uh, the, art, the artist really needs to benefit from everything associated to the music as opposed to the selling of the music itself. For, so for SIGPOD, we understand that we might be entering a world where music is going to be free, or search results are going to be free. They're treated as content, and things that you associate around that search result is what you're going to have to benefit the artist with. So for SIGPOD, we... Uh, I think it's important for us to enable merchandise and transactions that we can share with the artist, not so much uh, engaging in the selling of music or search results themselves. So, if I'm downloading a 120 minute DJ set, how does SeedPod actually index it and bring up the result? So, if you're downloading it, uh, maybe you've put it on a web server somewhere. And I'll touch on the legality question as well, because I realize I didn't answer that fully. But if you're going to download it and put it on your computer, you're going to put it on another web directory somewhere, uh, Seekbot's crawlers will find it. So if you download it, put it wherever, and then upload it to the internet, anywhere, uh, it's likely that at some point in time we'll find it and link to it, as opposed to storing it or, or uh, enabling someone to download it. Ah, okay, good question. So we rely on more than just ID3 tags. We do rely on location, uh, web directory names, and file names themselves to provide some uh, direction in terms of uh, what that track or what that DJ set is. That's it? Okay. Thanks, all. Alright, next up we have Jan Bates, uh, Indigo Dale founder and president. But before Indy gets on, I have to make a quick announcement, or two quick announcements actually. Number one, there's a missing iPhone in the house. Well, there's an iPhone that has a uh, uh, new owner that shouldn't have that iPhone. Um, 
If you uh, picked up an iPhone, no questions asked, return it at the bar, give it to me, please. Uh, or this gentleman over here is uh, a great promoter, so raise your hand. Uh, second announcement, you guys, I know it's real tempting that while you're standing at the bar to talk, but that's not what this is about. Why don't you guys all grab seats? We've got seats up here. Well, let's give some respect to the people giving presentations, all right? Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Wow, so we really appreciate it. Hi, everybody.